Hi everyone, welcome to Keto with Lee. I will be showing you how to make a low carb yogurt bark. Now, it's gonna be a lower carb option versus what's in the stores. So if you're looking for something and you miss that, this is a great, great option. Um, I did use a specific brand of yogurt because it is the lowest one that I, I could find that it's lowest in carbs. And I am not being sponsored by them. They are Stony Field Organic Plain Yogurt. And it's the Greek plain yogurt made with whole milk. So that's the one that I found. If you find a different one and it's lower than this one, please leave it in the comment below for me. And it'll help someone else as well. So let's get right into this video. It has that low carb yogurt as well as other yummy ingredients. Now let's get to it. Okay guys, so what I've done is I went ahead and put my powdered sugar in here. Now it is important that we use powdered sugar so that you don't get a gritty uh, texture, I guess is, is the preferred word, the texture. Now I do prefer using Swerve in my, my goods. Now you can use, obviously use the favorite one that you prefer, the, the, your preferred uh, favorite sugar substitute go ahead and use that I prefer swerve and this is the powdered swerve and now they're selling it in my local grocery store so I love it so I'm gonna do that and to that I'm going to add the yogurt that I was able to find so as you can see here per one cup sorry per one cup it is nine carbs and that to me is a lot compared to I mean it's a lot lower compared to the other yogurts I found so it is as I mentioned the stony field organic Greek plain and whole milk so we're gonna go ahead and dump this bad boy in there I am not sponsored by them. I just want to give you helpful tips, you know? So, got that in here. Okay, so now let's mix all that together really well. And this is the best place to go ahead and do a taste test. Because um, if you feel like you need more, you can. So, I know on my written recipe, I put one cup, but it, it's really one cup, but start with a quarter cup at a time so that you can figure out how sweet it is and so on. So I'm gonna taste that. Pretty good. Now, I'm gonna start adding everything else. So here we have our pumpkin seeds. They are raw inorganic then we have unsweetened organic coconut flakes and you can add whatever you want I have the sliced organic almonds or raw sorry raw almonds I have the dried chia seeds it's gonna give it a nice crunch as well with the other um, nuts and then we have our 60% cacao Giro Deli um, chocolate chips um, I don't have Lily's the option over here for Lily's chocolate chips so I went ahead and got the one that has the least amount of carbs so you go from you know you gotta use what you have better best good better best I guess you can say excuse me this is vanilla and to this, we're going to add almond extract. Give it some, oops, sorry about that. Give it some really good flavors. Let me go ahead and mix it all together. Now, once you get all this mixed up, yeah, you can try it and taste it again. Ooh, I'm excited for this. I really, really am. It's going to be really good. So what I've done is, I went ahead and lined 
what I'm gonna pour these into. So you can use whatever mold you want. The idea is to get it as thin as possible. Alright, so it's all mixed. I'll put a little bit. And then, ooh, I don't know if this is gonna work. It might be a little bit of a pain in the butt with the parchment paper, but it's worth it. Bless you. You get it as thin as you can because the nuts are in there too, so it gets kind of difficult. Spread it. Let me see. Bless you. All right. So you keep going. I'll go ahead and fast forward this part so you don't get bored. it as even as possible the, the chunks and you've got to keep these I would keep them in the freezer okay so that's what you want to do just chop them up as best as you can Fingers are cold. But look at that. Very nice. Chocolate there. You can see the chia seeds there. It smells amazing. Oh god. Ooh, that was hard. Alright. There you go. So this is gonna uh, be kept in the freezer. You can put it in a Ziploc bag as well. And then just let it sit out for about three to five minutes before you go ahead and sink your teeth into that. Thanks for watching.